yes, 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 it's the Raphael Dawkins with the Combat Radio. Now we're talking about the Andy Ruiz PBC situation. Uh, PBC reportedly cut Andreas the Pants Ruiz Jr. and he's now a free agent. Okay, some other reports are saying that Andy Ruiz left but other reports are saying that he was cut so my question is was he pushed or did he jump pbc has reportedly cut a former unified heavyweight champion has set him adrift as a free agent so he can be signed by any other promoter willing to put the ink to paper for the 33 year old Andy Ruiz okay so what could be the problem there what could be the problem on PBC Island well Andres Andy has only fought two times in the last four years so is that a factor the ability to make a profit off this cat also um, other than the Anthony Joshua fights we don't really know how much this guy sells we don't really know how much how much PPVs this guy sells. You know, so he's a he's a little bit of an unknown quantity in terms of what he brings to the table. But nonetheless, in terms of a revenue income, but nonetheless, he does have some market value. One would imagine that Andy Ruiz has some level of market value uh, as an ex-champion. Okay, so we can only speculate as to why PBC cut him loose, and that's some of the speculation. But nonetheless, you'd have thought, you would have imagined that he would have had some kind of cachet. You would have imagined that a promoter would want to hold on to him, uh, being an ex-champion. Of course, Bob Arum cut him loose, allowed Andy to buy himself out of his contract. What was it, half a mil? For half a mil, 500k, something like that. Well, PBC paid that. That's why he jumped on their roster. They set him free from top rank. Bob Arum was not a fan of Andreas the Ponce. He said some non-complimentary things about Andy. Uh, but So he cut him loose. So have the PBC come to the same conclusion that top rank did? Uh, Ruiz has failed to stay relevant. He's failed to stay relevant, fighting two times in four years. Uh, that is not not impressive and not the way to stay relevant. Of course, he's a rich man. The uh, the Anthony Joshua fight made him a rich man. So clearly, <laughs> that took away from his hunger. So now we've got the situation now. Does Andy, Andy Ruiz fight Deontay Wilder? Is that still on the cards? They're allegedly two free agents. So does that affect that fight? Does this affect that fight? It's, it's quite a few questions to be answered. Hopefully we get some clarification in the coming days. What are people saying? Ruiz is a fraud. I was looking forward to him getting KO'd by Wilder, says RSC. He's a fraud. How? How many professional fights have you been in to qualify as an expert, say the responder to that? Um, Dilbert says PBC promote boxers. Of course, Andy Ruiz isn't one. He's fought twice in four years. Would you call someone who played tennis once every 24 months a professional tennis player he needs to get a job and move on with his life his part-time side hustle in boxing is over now well i don't know about that they seem like some strong words he's been waiting on an aj trilogy freebie bone throw for a while now the pbc aka hyman did not help his inactivity at all though just because he's 
ain't African American, so no big push at all. Well, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's a racial thing over there. It's just that their guys are very inactive. Did Andy Ruiz complain about the inactivity? Or was he cool with it? Personally, I think he was probably cool with it. But now he's moving on to Pastures New. Who's going to pick up Andy, Andy Ruiz? Who's his next promoter going to be? What will the stipulations be? Will it be contractual that he has to fight at least once per year? Maybe two times a year? Or at least 1.5 times a year? If they want that, then they need to put it in the contract. So we're going to find out what the next moves are, get some clarification on this. But in the meantime, there's a lot of speculation. What next for Andreas the Ponce Ruiz? What say you? Have your say. It's Rafael Dawkins, the Combat Radio. Like, subscribe, comment, share. I am out.